next article that we're going to be looking at is entitled, Pentagon Turns to Brain Implants to Repair Minds. An estimated 10 to 20% of troops coming home from Iraq and Afghanistan are suffering from traumatic brain injuries, or TBIs, which affect 1.7 million Americans each year. Now, the Pentagon's rolling out a revolutionary initiative to treat the condition, brain implants, that one researcher likens to replacement parts for damaged gray matter. When someone, when something happens to the brain right now, there's so little that the medical community can do. You know, it's true, I guess, from a medical standpoint, there's a lot of stuff you can do from a uh, whole food, glandular, supplemental, herbal standpoint. I know that for a fact, but again, that they, they can't delve into that because they can't patent it, and it actually could fix the problem. And they don't want to fix the problem, they want to perpetuate the problem because that's how they make money. It's all about reoccurring revenue. That's the whole basis for which the pharmacia, or the pharmaceutical, and the medical systems are set up. Just perpetuate the disease, put a band-aid on it. I mean, even even going like you have a heart heart attack. Oh, you got clogged arteries. We'll go in there put some stints. Oh, that that makes a lot of sense. We'll, we'll put we'll bypass the blockage. We'll do nothing about the block. We'll do nothing about what's causing the blockage. We wouldn't want to do anything like chelation or do like an enzyme called natokinase to actually clean out the arteries, or, or you know, we wouldn't want to do that. No, 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 no. We want to we want to just kind of keep that status quo. I mean, yeah, we'll scrape out your carotids or something. We'll, we'll we'll do that, or we'll do angioplasty where we squeeze the fat to the side of your arteries, or we'll do a stent where we bypass it. But we're not doing anything to fix the core root cause. That's just one thing. Why? That's how they make their money. It's called reoccurring revenue. And then they get you on the drugs to go along with it. That don't fix the problem either. Plavix doesn't fix the problem. Well, it keeps your blood a little bit thinner. Yeah, it has all these other horrific side effects. Now they've got Plavix-dependent stints. That if you get a stint put in, you have to take the Plavix because if you don't, you'll die. Because the stint is dependent upon the drug. How sickening is that? Then you're ab- absolutely, totally, uh, you have no choice. Or we'll give you, uh, we'll give you Coumadin, which is originally known as Wayfair, which is rat poison. And I'm not making this up. It is rat poison. It was originally what they used in rat poison. Keeps your blood nice and thin. Doesn't do anything to deplaque your arteries. Has all kind of horrific side effects. I mean, hey, it's rat poison. And it just goes on and on and on. I've done a whole study on pharmacia that you can key in, or pharmacy. Just go up key in Scott Johnson Pharmacy up on YouTube, or uh, Sorcery, that would probably find it there too. Anyway, um, let's go further. And I mean, now we're dealing with brain implants. Now we're dealing with like Mark of the Beast type technology here. Implants. Well, if these, you're telling me you're going to put an implant that's going to affect my brain activity? Going to affect the way I think? You think that might be able to be used maybe in a negative way against the person? I mean, if they can influence your thinking pattern, they can influence you in a positive or a negative way. Then, are you even fully human anymore? I mean, now you're becoming what they call, the transhumanists call post-human. And one of the main things the transhumanist movement wants, and this is one of the main things where we're going to become post-human, we're going to become as gods. Okay? We're not going to be fully human anymore. They want to implement this microchip, this implant technology into people. Because they know that once they have these implants in people, they can absolutely control them like a robot. To a certain extent, at least. So, it, this lady, uh, Krishna Shanoi, Associate Professor of Electrical Engineering and Bioengineering at Stanford University, told uh, this report, Our goal is to understand and then be able to change how a brain responds to trauma. No surprise that the Military Extreme Science Agency, DARPA, which is one of the most corrupt, beyond corrupt factions, and we're going to look at them in a second when we look at Facebook, most corrupt, black, draconian agent, uh, factions of our government. The Extreme Science Agency, DARPA, is behind the project. That, why doesn't that surprise me? Which is called, it's actually it's called REPAIR, which stands for Reorganization and Plasticity to Accelerate Injury Recovery. Yesterday they announced an initial two-year roundup, two-year round of 
$14.9 million in funding for four institutions led by Stanford and Brown Universities. Now, here's another thing, how, how Gerald Salenti said that the universities are a total racket. Number one, most people that send their kids away to these big universities, what are you doing? You're sending them away to the wolves. You're sending them away to these secular, God-hating institutions where the professors are secular and God-hating to have your kid absolutely, totally corrupted for the most part. If it's not by campus life, it's by the teachers themselves. They're not Christian. Well, and then you have this. Now you have organizations like these big, these big uh, colleges like Stanford and Brown teaming up with DARPA. They're all just, it's just part of the problem. It's, it's one of their, the main ways they brainwash people and that they recruit is through these big universities. These universities will collaborate on the BrainShip project. All in all, it will involve 10 professors and their research teams working in neuroscience, psychiatry, brain modeling, and even semiconductors. I mean, this is straight out of the pit of hell. I mean, it very much relates into the mark of the beast. And um, these, these men are coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan absolutely, totally damaged goods. I've talked to some of them. I know they're not getting help. I know a lot of them are very desperate.